All right, here I'm going to demonstrate how you can activate a timer, T40. And when this timer is done timing, this bit will go true, triggering this timer. When this timer is done timing, its done bit will open, resetting this timer and starting the whole thing over again. This is called cascading timers. The whole thing is triggered by this input, this switch, 1, 0. Now while that timer is timing, T4, 0, that's this one, while it's timing, this bit will be true. When this goes from a false to true condition, it increments our counter. Our preset is 4, so after 4 cycles or 4 counts of this counter, its done bit right here will go false. Well, when this goes false, it doesn't matter what happens in this rung, this light will never turn on. And we can reset the counter to zero by activating this input. So what this circuit does is flash a light on and off three times, and then it stops flashing. So we'll go ahead and start the timer. Here's our first flash. There's our second flash. There's our third flash. Now we reach four. This bit opens. Now it doesn't matter what these timers are doing. This is going to remain false, not letting our yellow light turn on. If I press the reset while these lights or timers are cycling, it will then start triggering the light all over again for three cycles. This could be a light, a horn, or anything that you'd want to activate on and off a certain number of times. And of course, if you wanted it to continue cycling on and off, you would just eliminate the counter and, and this done bit from that counter.